the final reflection. I wanted to make sure that I was clear about this because I did not say it in the last class. Uh, yes, I do want you to do a final reflection. And if you're looking at this video right now, you'll notice that bingo cards, that's done. You've turned those in. 21st century skills and elements you identified. Uh, that is something that we've been working throughout uh, and I'm comfortable with that. Basically, all this, we're done. Um, except for this last piece right here. It says, write a reflection about some of the content above and how what you have learned in this course will help you demonstrate proficiency as a teacher. Two to three paragraphs. If I click down here, you're going to see uh, an example from a previous student. You can read through this and kind of gives you an idea. So it does not need to be longer than this. But again, it's, it's pure reflection. Just I'm curious what really resonated with you and um, how you're going to use some of the content moving forward. You made some mention of this potentially in your presentations in the last class. But if you could just solidify uh, just an overview reflection of that. I do want you to make a page like this, and I do want you to link it on your name. Now, how do you do that? Let's go back to Reflections, and what I do need to do is I need to make a page. So you'll make a page by clicking right here, New Page, and you can name this. I would use like your first name, just because when we make the page, it's going to be easier to associate it with you or link it, because you may put this in the wrong section. Right here it says put page at the top level. No, I want to put it under the reflection section. When I click create, wait for it, wait for it. Here's my page. Now, because I see the save button here and I see the flashing cursor, that means I can type in my words here. When I'm done, I click save. Now a page exists. Let's take a look where this is. Now right here you can see it exists underneath the reflection section. The last thing I want you to do is to link it to your name. Now right here you see this, so it exists. It's a page under the subsection uh, of reflection here and all of ours will show up here. Now part of the reason I'm, I want you to do this, I just want you to get a little more acquainted with how the uh, Google Sites works and how to make pages and move things around from different sections and link within the website. and. Tony already did this with his example uh, in our last class, but I just want everybody to have an experience so you can say, hey, I have used Google Sites to create a page, link to it, etc." But let's just say I'm going to make the link. I will go back into edit mode on this page. And for sake of simplicity, I'll just say that my name was here. I want to now link to this. So what do I do? I come up here and I click on the chain link icon and I'm looking for the page. Now, um, I can search here. I can also go down here. And uh, I'm digging around. And if I click under Reflections here, I'll see Scott's Reflection. And I click OK. And now it's linked to that page. I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to test it out. So I click Scott. What do you know? It takes me to my page. And I could go here, and I can come back to this section. So that's what I want you to do for your final reflection. I have on the schedule that it's due by May 10th. And again, we covered this two classes ago, but I failed to remind everybody about it during our last class. And somebody emailed me and asked for clarity about that. And I apologize if I said we're all done, everything's in. Uh, I think I made mention of that during the last class. My apologies for that. But again, the reflection is very simple, just purely you reflecting on material. If you have two to three-ish paragraphs about your experience, good. I'm a happy camper. And that is it.